South Africa's central bank disagrees with credit rating agency Moody's downgrade of Capitec Bank. And joining us on the line for more is Kheri Fari, the chief executive of Capitec. Well, Kheri, your share price down 5% today. Did you anticipate after seeing the Moody's report that came out late on Friday afternoon that uh, the market would react in this way? Uh, good uh, afternoon, Alec. Uh, yeah, um, I think uh, we all speculated what the market is going to do. As you all know, um, the news from Moody's uh, forces certain of the investors to react in certain manners. Um, so we're not that surprised. I think if you look at where the share price is currently, it's trading around about 205 Rand. Um, and it looks like it's uh, hit a stable point um, at that level. So, um, so far, so good. But the share price has come back from in the last two weeks from 240 Rand. So it's been quite a drop, 20% uh, on the whole Abel saga. I guess you've tried your best to tell the market how you are different to Abel. People like Mohammed Nala got the story, but not everybody has read the memo. Yeah, I think uh, what, what uh, myself and Andre Duplessis, our FD, we spend a lot of time with investors uh, in the investors' market explaining the difference. Um, uh, but I think if you look at the public, probably is not that well informed what is the difference between ourselves and African Bank. And that's what we've done again with our update on Friday to explain that we've got a completely different business model than African Bank. Uh, and also we uh, put out the five, six differences between ourselves and African Bank. Kheri, Gugu here with Alec. This downgrade, what impact will it have on your capital raising initiatives going forward? It shouldn't have an impact uh, now. Um, our capital adequacy is at 40% uh, on our model, so we don't see that we're going to need any capital for the next 18 to 24 months, uh, depending on your book growth. Um, so in the short term, it will have very little impact. Uh, long term, uh, if we can't get Moody's to upgrade ourselves, it will probably will have an impact on uh, the price you paid. Luckily uh, for us, uh, our retail deposits are growing quite nicely, um, and uh, we can make use of retail and wholesale um, to fund our activities. How would you get Moody's to listen to another point of view? Because clearly... And you've said it yourselves. On, on uh, I spoke to your colleague uh, Andre Dupesi on Friday night, and he said that there was a 30-minute conversation with Moody's. So they've made up their mind. Uh, the Reserve Bank has said Moody's is wrong. You're saying Moody's is wrong. Mohammed Nala is saying Moody's is wrong. How would one get Moody's to actually reverse its uh, its downgrade? And double notch is not that uh, not not much fun. Um, I, like, I think there's, there's two things. Our trading up to or our financial half year financial results is coming out now um, in September, um, around about the 25th of September. And we'll, like we said, we're going to do a trading update uh, on or before the 10th of September. Um, I think uh, Moody's will probably then get a better insight. And we've, in our discussions on Friday, we've invited them a couple of times, come and spend time with ourselves, come and go through our credit models, come and go through our financial statements and uh, do a proper assessment. Uh, because um, we believe, uh, you know, Andre had a 20, 30 minutes discussion um, in May. They were, yeah, not much has changed since May. Um, I've actually said, said to them when I spoke to them on Friday, I said, if you actually go and look at what has changed from May to now, it's probably more positive because you've, the strikes have finished. Um, and the positive thing of the strikes is people got uh, at least a 10% and, and, and higher um, uh, salary adjustments. Um, so that is actually good news for South Africa long term. Um, also, the agreements has been a reach for two and three years. So we should have more stability. So one will have to see how they're going to approach it. Um, hopefully, after our results, um, they will come and do a full assessment, let's say, in October or November, and um, then we'll have a lengthy discussion and see what the view is then. What are the other rating agencies, how do they rate Capitec relative to Moody's? Uh, we've only, uh, we're only making use of Moody's, so the other agencies hasn't rated ourselves. Um, so, yeah, I can't comment at this stage on, on, on their view. So le let me just get this right. Do you pay Moody's to do a credit rating on you? Yeah, that's correct. So um, you, you pay them and then <laughs> they downgrade <laughs> you. That's not much fun. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, if you want to... Uh, if you want to attract investors, uh, you need to have a rating. And then you, um, we did a full assessment on the rating agencies, and we decided on Moody, Moody's a couple of years back. And yeah, 
Um, are, you, are you sorry with that decision now? Perhaps the other rating agencies <laughs> might be a little bit uh, fairer. Yeah, you know, I, be, I believe in one man needs to build a long-term relationship. I think uh, rating agencies maybe uh, in the last couple of uh, months has taken a beating from being wrong. Uh, for example, I, uh, on the AWOL um, um, side. So um, one will have to assess it. Uh, I think we're focusing now on making certain that our investors and our retail people are positive and that they understand that business as usual for ourselves. Uh, like we've said, uh, we're positive. Everything currently in our financial results are looking in line with our budget. Um, and we've got 10 days to go and we should have a fairly good uh, half year results. Kerry, very quickly, any impact at the branch level? Are people wanting to cash in their deposits? Uh, I had a couple of conversations this morning with branch people and at BSC and so far um, we're not picking up anything strange. We've analysed our um, uh, stats uh, Saturday, Sunday um, as well as this morning and so far we've seen no jittery. I think what is very positive for us is that the Reserve Bank has supported us. Um, uh, you know, when we spoke to them on Friday, they immediately reacted um, and you can read in the media statement uh, they also disagree. Uh, so I think that to us is very positive that we've got the support of uh, the Reserve Bank. Just as a final question, what do you pay a ratings agency to do a report like this? Uh, Alec, I think in this case it's around about a million, but I'm not certain. Um, that's Andre's job to make certain that it's fair. It's but proper it's money then. It's, it's quite, a, quite a lot of money that you pay them. That was Kerry Fourier, the Chief Executive of Capitec. Well,